So I've disassembled my Christini, and it's too interesting not to show you how it works. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> Starts here. This is a standard countershaft. It's a weldment with a different sprocket on it on the outside that runs a chain up to this guy. Essentially a bevel gear box with a and a, uh, a, a shaft that can be <clears throat> plunged in and out with a thumb. So, as you can see, that I don't know if I can get it to go back, but that <clears throat> is what allows you to, to drive it. And it goes through to a little clutch, which you can vary the, the pressure on. It's got some Bellevue washers. Sorry, Belleville washers. Uh, that uh, allow you to vary the, the tension that's on this clutch pack, which then drives up to another bevel gear that goes to the steering head. And how this goes in the chassis is the sprocket, the chain would be, say, right here, going up from the, the counter shaft, the engine, say, here. Goes up, comes up, chain goes here, power goes through here, that gearbox thing sits about yay, and then power goes up through the steering head. And that this is a weldment here, this area. Actually pretty well done. This had to be relieved a little bit for the gearbox. Goes up there. And then the three bevel gears essentially. There's the bevel gear here and then one comes from the the top down and the bottom. So this is one from the top which fits into the, the top triple clamp. I don't know if I have that here. The top triple clamp doesn't have a nut that goes through. It's kind of bizarre. <clears throat> and then this, I, I've removed this. There's a bearing here. Um, fits in. And then this part goes down through. And here, one of them drives a little chain. This is this side. Drives this little chain here. The other one here drives this chain here, the counter-rotate, which as you guys know is awesome. So the counter-rotation then goes to these guys. So you see where this spinning from here goes to this, and this is the crux of it, and this is pretty cool. These are linear bearings riding on little grooves. And they only go one way. Like I can't, I cannot turn it from where, where we're looking at. I can't turn it counterclockwise. It has to go clockwise. Because inside this, which is yet another gear box, is uh, a bevel gear in here, transmitting to the front. But in the hub are sprag clutches, one mic clutches. So pretty cool. I know that looks complicated, but I'm pretty stoked with it. And it was really fun to take apart. And now I'm going to get to cleaning this part because even though that's like uh, probably 150 hours, <clears throat> it's pretty clean, but I still need to get in there and make it cleaner.